This Challenger 3 press has been installed over the last couple days. I want to point out that the electrical work was done prior to the assembly of this machine in this location. The electricians ran the power, mounted the junction box to the beam, and dropped an SO cable using a strain relief up at the top. This cable had a sufficient slack to route the cable through the center shaft of the machine and down to the control cabinet on the press. You'll also notice that the air line has been run through as well. On the junction box, the electricians took time to mark the panel, the electrical panel number and the circuit breakers which are protecting this press. That's a good thing to do because if you have to cut power to the press or any other piece of equipment, you can easily reference what wall panel the breakers are in. This Challenger 3 installation was done with the uh, SO cable run from the ceiling, going through the center of the machine and down towards the floor to make its electrical connection in the control cabinet. However, these presses can be ordered with electrical cable pre-installed through the center shaft and terminating at the top of the press. They can also be ordered with the air line connected in a similar fashion. This is much easier than asking your contractor to try to fish the electrical cable or the air line down the center of the press. So that's something to take into consideration. Also, dropping the connector, connections from the ceiling is the ideal way to do it. Running cables, power, or pneumatic air lines across the floor to the base of the machine is not a good idea. It creates a tripping hazard in the shop and it is seriously frowned upon by OSHA. As I stated earlier, the electrical work was done prior to the assembly and installation of the machine. Here we have an example of a flash cable drop the electricians used SO cable for our flash drops as well as our power being supplied to the press. SO cable is very common, comes in three and four conductor depending on whether you're using single phase or three phase power. Uh, it's oil resistant cable and it's very flexible. The electricians have used 50 amp twist lock plugs to connect this flash. The female drops from the ceiling the male is connected to the piece of equipment. As you can see, there is a strain relief at the junction box. In case anyone tugged on the cable, it would not pop out from its connection on the ceiling. These plugs are very expensive, but they're well worth the money. They're well constructed, heavy duty, and they can take years of plugging and unplugging. It's not a good idea to buy a cheap connector for your flashes. You also have to take into consideration the amount of amps that the flash unit is going to pull. That will determine the size of the plug and the size of the wire. Same holds true for any other piece of equipment. Printing press, dryer, cable size is key. It's very important to have the electrical and the pneumatic drops done prior to the assembly and installation of the machine. If a plumber or an electrician has to get a scissor lift or ladders into this area after the press has been assembled in order to make their connections, dropping from the ceiling. You run the risk of them possibly dropping tools on top of the machine and damaging it, and it creates a, a very difficult work environment for the contractor. Have this done before the equipment is placed on the floor.